Hey YouTube, this is uh, Jason Amber from Ambrose Landscaping. Uh, today I am doing a video on my 2014 trailer setup. Uh, so first we'll start with the truck. We got a 97 um, F450 Super Duty 7.3 turbo diesel dump bed. Uh, it's been a really good truck for our business, really has helped out a lot. Um, next we're going to go to the trailer. <clears throat> this is an 8.5 by 16 Interstate tandem axle and uh, this is, has been great for our business uh, just being able to pack everything that we need into it uh, we'll go over to the mowers I'm not gonna go too far into details with each you know individual mower or each piece of equipment today uh, today I'm just kind of showing you how we got the trailer set up but uh, if you guys would like a, a better <clears throat> knowledge of what I have you know I can do separate videos just go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll get those for you. So we got the three mowers right here. We got the Honda Commercial 21, the Toro Turf Master 30 inch, and then the Fast Track Hustler 54 inch. Uh, all been great mowers for me. I love them all. Uh, so we're gonna go to the trailer right now. And uh, oh, I don't think we can see really. Okay, there we go. So this is my trailer setup. <clears throat> I like to be organized just because for one, it really makes you look a lot professional compared to other landscapers. And uh, also it's just easier to kind of get to everything knowing where everything goes and uh, you'll always know if you're missing a piece of equipment because it's not where it is <clears throat> so we'll start on this side you know we got a ladder we got our air curve blower so suck back or whatever it's called uh, that's been pretty cool we got our attachments we got our gas cans all of our trimmers everyone wonders why I got so many trimmers but it's always nice to have uh, backups and one they're, you know they're each for different ones you know the ones with the uh, edge of pros on it I, I can do a separate video on that that's a really great piece of equipment but you know we got the <clears throat> the smaller echoes where those are used for all the edgings of um, all of our yards what we use all the time we got the SMR 230 we got this trimmer right here and that's used for all the high brush that you know those jobs that we get where you know it's been a long time since they have been um, maintained just because it's got the power and it's a lot easier to come down than using the disc and then we got the 266 um, just powerful enough to you know run our chainsaws and run our hedge trimmer for when we got those big jobs we got the steel backpack sprayers those have been uh, really great I like them a lot uh, compared to other ones just because I don't know they, they just fit pretty well on my back and they just got the power and what I need you know the pressure uh, built these racks not too long ago they've been really great I had all of this stuff that you see up here was just laying all throughout the whole entire floor so I built those shelves <clears throat> it was pretty simple not too hard just gotta get your measurements right and we got everything labeled and and the containers as you can see we got gloves tools blades our water bottles our safety gear you know miscellaneous you know irrigation all that kind of stuff got all of our pruning got all of our mixed cans just all of our tools got our fertilizers trash can and then we just got all of our containers containing our pesticides uh, just keeping those from just spilling out everywhere we don't want to get that <clears throat> go to our backpack blowers the stale BR, BR 550 and the 600 Magnum uh, great blowers one of my favorite blowers I've used uh, the 600 I would recommend over the 550 can't really tell too much of a difference I kind of can but I always use the 600 it's just great then we got our echo trimmers. Uh, I always like to have backups, as you can tell. I got almost two of everything. Actually, I do got almost two of everything. I always like to have backups just in case one goes out. That way, you don't have to stop work. You just, you know, got it all. But I got a big enough trailer to be able to hold all this. And then we just got our hand tools. Then up above, we got our <coughs> telescoping pruners. Just kind of keep those out of the way. That was nice, as you can see. I hold all my stuff up with these these white racks. They're made by Husky that you can get at Home Depot. Uh, for each section, it's about I don't know like four or five feet. Um, they're about seven eight dollars. And what's nice about those is you can tell I got them to hold up you know most of the stuff. <clears throat> and what's great about them is that I since I've had this trailer, I've had it for almost a year. I have rearranged my trailer multiple times. Every time you get another piece of equipment, you are constantly. <clears throat> Um, moving it around to work with what you use. I always keep my backpack lowers by this door just because that's what you, you know, you want to fast access. Plus, you know, when you got your mowers parked in here, you know, it just takes up a lot of room and it's easy. You know, you just want to make sure that everything is easy to get to. Um, so that's what we do. But you can get those at um, Home Depot, same with all the hooks 
and uh, and you just you find the right ones that go for the right tools. As you see, those the ones holding the blowers are different than the ones holding the trimmers. They've been really great. The only thing I don't like about them is sometimes the bolt. You know, all you do is twist it, and it comes off. And uh, sometimes those will come undone. And I've had things falling off when I'm you know when I'm driving, but that that's only if I hit like a curb really hard, and there's a lot of vibration where it just knocks everything off. Um, other than that, they've been they've been really great. Other people use those little metal tracks. Those seem to be great. These are a lot cheaper, and like I said, you can just keep moving them all over the place. Um, and I finally found a setup that works for me, where I get quick access to everything. Um, so, anyways, this is my trailer setup. I'll do a quick little shot of what it looks like with my my mowers in here. I'm I'm constantly changing where I park everything because if I there's days where I'm using the riding lawn more compared to the push ones the most. Then I'll put the push mowers up front. I'll tie them right there and have the riding lawn more right here. But if there's days where I got more push than riding, I got the riding up here and then I hold the two pushes back here. So um, thank you very much for watching. I hope that this kind of helps you get a better perspective on how to hopefully organize your trailer. Um, I've, I've gotten lots of compliments uh, about how organized this trailer is. And it really does make you look very professional um, when you look organized and clean. Uh, the first thing a client sees is if you take care of your stuff, then they know that you're going to take care of their stuff. And that's the most important thing uh, is just uh, keep clean, keep organized, and look as professional as possible. So thank you very much. If you guys have any questions, if you guys would like to know of any of the equipment, especially the discs, I get a lot of questions on those. I get stopped nonstop by customers and just people asking me about those. I can do a separate video on that. It's called the Edget Pro. You can find it on uh, eBay. One of my favorite tools I've ever bought. In. And uh, I'll do a quick video on that sometime soon. But I just want to do a video of the uh, trailer setup. So if you have questions, please leave comments below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Okay, guys, this is how I, uh, I place my mowers in here. I got my two push mowers right up front. And I got my riding lawnmower right here. Since I got the bagging system, uh, it takes a lot more space up in the back, but I got plenty of room still. I always like to keep ways to, you know, walkways to be access to get to everything, uh, you know, to the blowers and then especially to the trimmers. And then back here, we still got plenty of space to even fit another lawnmower. I usually carry three, three uh, push mowers in here, but I decided just to only carry two since there's no need to have three so far. But anyways, so this is how I set it up with my lawnmowers inside. It's always nice to especially have tie downs on your, especially your push mowers, those things seem to go everywhere. So I usually just use these rationing straps. You can get those at Home Depot too. Or that one, I got a uh, bungee cord over there. But uh, for the lawnmower, I gotta get one of those things that hold down the front tire, because this thing usually, it slides all over the place. <laughs> and so it just depends on how sharp a turns you take and especially how bumpy the roads are. So anyways, this is it. Just wanna show you guys how I place my mowers in here. and. Like I said, if you have any questions on uh, any of the equipment I have, I am always willing to uh, help you guys out and give you a little bit of uh, knowledge and insight of each piece. So thank you very much.